This video is gonna pick up where I left off in my last video. I made a pattern in Illustrator on the iPad and then I brought it over into Illustrator on the desktop to make a pattern fill swatch out of it. Now I'm gonna show you how to use recolor artwork to come up with some different color schemes for your pattern. So I like to, when I'm working on a pattern, I don't wanna to think too much about the color right off the bat. So I'm kind of concentrating on the artwork and the balance of everything. And I know that I can always bring it into Illustrator on the desktop and use the very powerful recolor artwork feature. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I've rearranged things here a little bit so it's easier to see. But right here, I've got my pattern. And then here in the center, I have some images. These are just color palettes that I have dragged in from Pinterest. And I'm gonna use these with the new recolor artwork feature. Now I say new, it came about last year. So that was in 2020. Um, but I, uh, I love this feature and I love talking about it. So what I'm gonna do is just hold down the option or alt key and hold shift and drag out a copy so we can compare the new to the original. All right, so with this pattern selected, I'm gonna go and open up the recolor artwork feature and we see the new panel here. And the, the tool that's just so much fun to use here is the color theme picker. So I'm gonna just click on that and you can see it turns dark so now it's engaged. And then I can just go here and click on a color palette or click on another color palette like this and sample these colors. All right, so when I first started doing this to show this to you, I was really surprised because I always brag about how smart this feature is and how it does really nice uh, color combinations out of these um, images, these pixels that we're sampling from. But in this case, it's not doing such a great job. And so I had to think for a second, oh, okay, now I know what the problem is. And so I'm gonna show you how to address that because I really think this is an amazing feature but um, it's important to set your artwork up properly to begin with. So what's happening here, as you can see, is that some of these greens are stuck from the original uh, color palette here. And so I'm not really getting, you know, I'm getting some other colors besides the colors that I'm sampling from here. Well, the reason is because when I started out working on this pattern on the iPad, I was working with some swatches, but I was also just doing, you know, using a little bit of the um, the eyedropper tool. Uh, maybe I was just accidentally selecting some colors that were really similar, but not exactly the same. So what's happening here, and let's see if I can just zoom in and show you this. These greens all look the same, and then there's this one brown leaf that Illustrator has changed. And it originally was a green color, but it's truly a different color because if it were the same color as all these leaves, all of these leaves here would be brown. So this is something that happens when you have a lot, a design where you have like maybe some close colors here. Um, one important step that you can take before you go into recolor artwork is to resolve some of those close colors. And Actually, uh, recolor artwork is the way to go about doing this. So let me go back to the original here. And let's just take a look. If I just look at this right now, open up my color panel here, um, I can see, yeah, there's a few close colors here. Let me go and get out my recolor artwork tool. And this time I'm gonna go into advanced options. And what I can see here is that there are a lot of versions of this sort of medium green here. And so what I wanna do is consolidate those. But I'm not gonna do that with the artwork as it is applied in this fill swatch. I wanna go in and do the original artwork. I wanna go into pattern editing mode and make these changes so that I have the original pattern art changed from the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is double click on this pattern fill swatch and this launches me back into pattern editing mode. And now from here, I can select all using the shortcut Commander Control A. And now I have all the artwork in this pattern, really just this center where the, the single repeat unit is. And then I can go and get to the recolor artwork button on my top control bar, click on this, bypass the new feature and go into advanced options. 
So here we have the ability to assign color. So we have edit on the left and assign here on the right. We're on the assign side. And what I can do is consolidate some of these colors. So I don't have one, two, three medium greens, two light greens, and two nearly identical dark greens here. So the first thing that I want to do is go in to color reduction options and just make sure that uh, the colorize uh, method is set to exact. That's great so that I'm not creating any tints from this. And I really don't care whether white or black is preserved because there's none of that in this design. So I'm just gonna leave this as it is and click OK. And to consolidate colors, all you need to do is just drag colors onto a single bar. So that's all these three versions of that color are gonna be moving into this new color on the right. We'll consolidate these two light greens into one light green. Same with the dark greens. So we're starting out with 11 colors and I'm gonna get this down to a lot fewer. Let's see, and then these two greens go into this green. All right, so that looks like I've done all the con consolidating that I can do, so I'm gonna click OK. And just for fun, let me open this back up again, go to Advanced Options, and see what we have. We now have six colors. So we have one, two, three, four shades of green. That seems like that'll be okay, and then this very bright lime and pink. All right, so I'm gonna cancel because I didn't make any changes there. I just wanted to confirm that. So now let me click on done here so I can exit and I have um, updated this pattern. So if I look at it here, um, I've just selected the rectangle that it's applied to. I can see that um, it's got the new pattern applied to it, so that's good. Now, one thing that I need to mention here is if I go into the appearance panel, you can see I have a fill on top of another fill. So that's one way that I like to work with pattern fills in Illustrator is to have uh, one rectangle that has two fills stacked up on it in the appearance panel. So the top fill is the pattern and then the bottom fill is a solid background color. So that solid background color accounts for one of those six colors that we saw in recolor artwork. Now, it seems I hopefully have fixed my problem. So I'm gonna move this off to the side just so we can compare it and then go and make a copy of my new and improved pattern that looks identical. It's just that I've straightened out uh, all of the duplicate colors in there. And now when I go and get my new recolor artwork feature, it looks like I need more room here. Get the color theme picker out and click, now what we're seeing is a lot more like what I would have expected, much better than this here. So that's a, just a little help, helpful tip to begin, um, especially when you're working on the iPad and you're not paying super close attention to your colors. Make sure you go in and use Recolor Artwork to consolidate your colors. And that way you can go and get some nicer results here when you're using the color theme picker. So I can go with this color theme right here, or I can choose this one and see a whole different look. Click here and see a different look here. And this one down here, this one's really lovely. This is beverlybrown.com, I love that painting. All right, so I have a color scheme here that is sort of a starting point that I can work with. So one way to work with this feature is to play with the prominent colors sliders. So these just allow you to rebalance the color there. So you can see I've got more of that terracotta color or less of it, that's what I want. Um, more white maybe and less of that gray. So there's just a lot that you can sort of figure out working with these sliders. I love working with these sliders. Another thing that you can do is you can also go into the color wheel here. Now, if I leave everything locked as it is now because this button is turned on, then anytime I grab one of these and start spinning it around, you're gonna see a whole new color palette, but it's all going to be sort of in that original harmony arrangement. So all the distance between every one of these colors is going to stay fixed like that. Um, what I can do though, is if I wanna get back where I was, is, is just to go to this undo button here and then step back until I get to the color palette that I was working from. Now what I can do is unlock and then I can go and make changes to an individual color, like for example, this one, and try to 
you know, make this a blue or green, for example. So that's another way that you can work with this really powerful feature. All right, so I kind of like this um, option that I've created here, so I wanna go ahead and exit. The first thing that you have to do, because you can see when you, you start hovering here, you still got that little uh, eyedropper tool here, that's the color theme picker. So we have to turn this off first. So I'm gonna turn it off, and you can see it turns a lighter shade there, and then that means that I can just click anywhere and just sort of exit from recolor artwork. And I can back out here and say, okay, well this is a viable, uh, version here. So I'm going to put this off to the side and then I'm going to zoom in again and work with this one. So let me go back, get recolor artwork with this selected. And oh, by the way, you can see right here is a new pattern. So that, uh, it, the, the pattern that I just worked on right here was saved by Illustrator. So again, what we're seeing, if you can see this tiny little thumbnail here, it looks like there's a white background, but it's actually uh, invisible or a blank background. And the background, this dark color is coming from the added fill that I showed you earlier in the appearance panel. But whenever you recolor, Illustrator creates a duplicate of that original pattern fill swatch and adds it here to your swatches panel. And of course, it's got the new color scheme in it. All right, so which do I have selected here? I think it's this one, yeah. All right, so we're gonna recolor this middle one here and I'm gonna try and see what I can do with a different setting. So I'm gonna just click through these and see, oh, and here's something else that you can do. You can hold down the shift key and you can, um, you can see uh, you get a little plus sign next to your color theme picker tool there and you can just keep adding from multiple uh, colors. So I've got you can see the blue outline on this palette and this one and this one here. So all three of these are being, you know, sort of read by the Adobe Sensei um, technology that um, is working behind the scenes in this color theme picker. Um, let, let me add another one and see what that makes it any better. That's kind of similar. So now what you do is if I'm holding the shift key and I want to subtract that last uh, image from my uh, grouping of color here. So I'm going to just click on it. You can see it's got a, a minus sign next to it. So when I click, I go back to where I was. All right. And then let's see, I'll take this one out and see what happens. And do I like this one or, or not? Let me go and just sort of start afresh. And I'm just going to work with this one right here, this palette in the center. And then maybe play around with these sliders here. And here's another thing. Um, when you've seen like maybe a couple of these colors are a little darker than I would like, let me zoom in. This is also something you can't do in the old feature is zoom in and pan around your screen. So that's another thing I like about this new feature. Um, so like these colors right here are really dark and they're not what I want them to be. So first things first, um, in order to make adjustments to those individual colors, I need to unlock this harmony arrangement here so I can actually uh, just edit these individually. And then what I can do is double click on that and I get the color picker. So I can at least try just choosing something a little lighter and click OK. And then here I can do the same thing. Now you can move these around because they're individual, but, um, but it is kind of fun to be able to just double click and work with that. Uh, because what, sometimes what you will see is that um, a color can get a little stuck. Let me see if I can make that happen. Sometimes it's hard to make these hap make things happen that you um, want to show, <laughs> especially when you're doing just an off-the-cuff demonstration. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to, to show this. But anyway, just know that you can double-click on these. You can also move them around. You can right-click on them as well. So if you wanted to remove the color, you could do that. Um, you could just stick with that exact color, but instead choose to select a shade. So if I want to take a, this and make this a really light color. So there are a lot of different ways of working, a lot of options in recolor artwork. Um, let me see if I can adjust this color right here, unlock these first, very important. Um, and then if I can find this sort of beigey color, ooh, okay, that's sort of interesting. I like that. And then this 
dark beige color. I'm not sure what I want to do with it, but I can just sort of move it around and hopefully something good will come of it if I work on it a little longer. But for now, I hope you found some tips in there or at least feel inspired to use the recolor artwork tool in Illustrator. My name is Laura Coyle. I'm an illustrator and illustrator instructor, and I actually teach this feature, actually the new and the old features, in my recolor artwork course on my Teachable website. I'll put a link to that in the description for this video, but I think this is an incredible feature. It can be a little complex and I do a much better, more thorough job of explaining it in my class. And I think for pattern designers, it's pretty incredible to be able to sample from images and find color palettes that you may not have even thought of. So it's very inspiring. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Laura Coyle. I'm an illustrator and Adobe Illustrator instructor. Please subscribe and you'll know when my next video comes out. And thank you for watching.